Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about craft services and meals. Now, this is in honor of my husband, my partner, and the person that does most of the meals on our sets, definitely the craft. The main reason that you want to have a person dedicated to this position is because it's really an artisan position. It's a position that needs somebody dedicated to it. First of all, not only are they just putting things out, you might think, oh yeah, I could just put out some, you know, breakfast granola bars and maybe I boil some eggs and, you know, I call and I have lunch delivered and yeah, I'm the craft and meal person. No. These people are so much more than that. First of all, they shop. So who's going to go and buy all the stuff that you need? They basically take whatever your budget is and they with a fine tooth comb go through it and figure out the best way to feed people with the budget that you have. So a lot of times they'll go to discount places, they'll shop at many places just to get what you need. Second of all, they are looking at the whole crew and cast. They're not just thinking, oh yeah, I could just put this, that, whatever. They're looking at like, okay, what kind of diets do we have? Are there any vegans? Are there any vegetarians? Are there this, that, whatever? And so they try and make sure that they have something for all of the people that are on set. Um, even down to like little things like, oh, they just get some gum to have on set or, you know, they get little snacks that people love. And, and, and one thing that my husband does, and I love him for this and everyone that works on our set loves him for this, is he takes the time to actually make little plates of um, cheese with you know toothpicks in it or fruit with toothpicks and he brings that around while we're shooting so that people don't have to leave and go to the craft table to get something while they're shooting they can just have like, like a little bit of energy and that makes just a huge difference to people that you're actually looking out for for them when they're you know getting a little low energy or you know they just need a little something um, these days there's so many different types of um, diets that are on your set that you need to be aware of that. There's a lot of people that have diabetes. You have to be aware of what kinds of foods are good for people that have diabetes. People that are, you know, have like um, gluten issues or, or whatever it is. So that craft person is really somebody that really knows how to deal with that. Um, usually your meals are planned ahead of time by your UPM, um, maybe AD UPM. And so the craft person might be somebody that goes and they pick it up or they set it up. They definitely, when the meal arrives, they set it up, they put it out, um, they make sure that everything's there for pe people and they move people through the line very expeditiously. And they know who's supposed to be moving through when. So that's, that's the main reason you have a craft person. It's somebody that they really know that part of the job and they really bring a lot of effort and care to it. And if you have a, if you have a well-fed crew, you have a happy crew. So just remember that and get a good craft person.